Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I just wanted to do a video today about collections, well, accessories to our collection in this hobby, the Reborn hobby, and what do we tend to collect as accessories. And originally, um, Christine from In Love of Reborns 13 had talked about this on her channel, and Ashley Baby Love Heart Smith. So, um, yeah, I wanted to just show you guys some of the things that I had collected when I first was starting out. And everything that you're going to see, I have not collected in a really long time. I guess I just needed to get what I needed, you know, when it's new to you and you collect so much of it until you feel like you've gotten everything that you wanted, like in that certain category, whether it's binkies or loveys or bottles, blankets, and then you pretty much know you have enough. I mean, you still might collect here and there. Like if I see a really cute blanket on an Instagram sale, I'll, I, if it's really nice and hard to find, I will get it. But usually bottles and binkies and loveys, I'm pretty much done with collecting and headbands and hats. So I'm going to just show you how far I went with the collecting. And as you can see here, we have some blankets. This one is from an Instagram sale, fairly new. And obviously I didn't unwrap that yet. And you know, that, let me say that I have a ton of blankets around to other places, like in cradles and seats. So what you're seeing here is a portion of it because a lot of them are being used. So yeah, just um, lots of blankets when I first started. It goes down deep. You see it's a deep bin. And they're all in there. Some hospital ones that I had ordered. Uh, yeah, lots of fluffy ones. Really pretty, you know. Um, what's down there? I don't want to go all the way down in there, but you get the idea. Some muslin ones. So, yeah, lots of blankets. That was a collection, and I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, except for the few that, you know, may be rare to find or expensive in the stores that I'll see on an Instagram sale because I actually have one coming, like a white cable knit one, which I have one white cable knit already, but it's good to have a couple. And so here's the bottle collection. As you can see, there's lots of babas. I have one sippy cup here for a toddler. And I remember in the very beginning, I had bought these really tiny ones for like the twin A and B, their mouth. Um, if I could get this off. Mm. This one's a little hard, but you see these little ones. You see how tiny that nipple is. These are like the preemie. And I have this, well, no, this one's not a little, little one. This one. Um, this one, we made it look like juice. And the, this little one was never used. Oh, here's some, here's some Wonder Wafers in here. Another one. So, yeah, so I stocked up at one point on some of the really tiny bottles for videos or roll, um, role play or photos I have not stuck these in the twins mouths in a long time and here we have a tommy tippy and here's another tommy tippy in pink and then i saw these ones on instagram sale which i didn't use are these nook wait oh this brand oh it's even flow and there was a green one mint green and then I have two of the mams those are nice they'll squish down nice and I always love these ones the Avent those really squish down and those are good for um, the little baby mouths or any baby because these will fit into the mouths easier if you have enough silicone or an open mouth reborn but also the nipples press down nice and soft. Oh, this one, you see, has to be shaken up. It was settled. And now it looks like formula again. I think I bought this one with formula already in it. 
because I don't think I have mine where they look a little tan, the formula beige -y. I usually just do fabric softener because that's just easier. And I bought a, a few of these. This one, right, this one's a two, two ouncer. Yeah, these ones are cute. These are two ounce. The Avent, Avent, and this one, yeah, two ounce. Because then there's the four ounce. So the two ounce are hard to find, but they're cute. I think I got it on Amazon. Every now and then you gotta go around and shake up the bottles. See? This is another one that I purchased. I could tell the difference in the colors. Are with already the formula in it. And then we have a cute Winnie the Pooh. And I like this one. Playtex Bent. Vent air. We have some of the glass ones that came with dolls. Oh, here's a Dr. Brown's. And this one is, this one came with a doll, a reborn. I like this one. I picked this one up, I think, at like Marshall's. It's all silicone soft. What else is in here? Just some regular, yeah, like Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, Apple Juice again. Okay, what else? Um, down here, there's some more. I had found these in a some kind of grocery store. They were 99 cents, these Playtex with the bag. I think I picked up three of those. That one has a different nipple. I don't even know what brand this is. And I think this came with a doll. And these ones I like. These, this one's the Nook. And I think I have a pink one somewhere else. Might be in a diaper bag. So, oh, okay, that's a little tiger. It's not Tigger. Oh, and this one I've never used, but I seen this on a video, and she was giving it, like, I think it could have been a drink and wet, though, so the cool thing was is when she was pushing it in and out of the baby's mouth, it was making a lot of bubbles in the bottle, so it looked really realistic. So I grabbed one of these off of eBay or Amazon. I feel like it was Amazon. And I never tried it though, but I should. Because I guess with the pumping action, if you go in and out of the mouth, it, it will make the bubbles. So it looks like they're really drinking. Now here's another thing. And these are just the covers, I guess, some scattered stuff. Maybe we did that to clean up some messes. You know what's cute, guys? This is actually a bunk bed for dolls that we're storing this stuff on. It's a wooden bunk bed. So here's some other ones, like more like preemie baby bottles. Oh, here's all the glass ones. And here's one that came with the silicone nipple from Claire Taylor. Came with Andrew. And I have one for... Um, Gabby Gale? Yeah, Gabby Gale came with one. So a lot of these came with special babies. And like I said, then here, see, some of these already have some homemade formula in them. And the red nipple, which I actually bought a bunch of these. But this one came on this bottle. So these are all things like when you first get in the hobby and you see these in the videos or in photos and you're like, I gotta have some of those. Oh my God, those are so cute. I gotta have some. And then you get them and you get it out of your system. So like I said, I have not collected bottles in a long time or binkies. So wait, we gotta put this one back. And now I'm gonna show you some of the binkies and the binky, um, clips are in the same pocket box so 
So we went through that stage of the passy clips. All kinds. All kinds of binkies. This is a passy clip lovey. I keep my matting powder in there. Some are not even open, but it was just the point of having them. You know, you know, when you first get the open mouth babies, the twin A and B, the silicone. And then, of course, you do the magnets. And you cut some of them. Let's see. That one doesn't have a magnet. But, of course, I wanted it because it had a unicorn. And it was the Nook brand. Passy clip. We had to have these ones these ones and I do have the um the brown one what's it called again I don't know where that one is you know that brown latex one then of course you want certain ones with pictures to match certain color outfits sports one uh, here's the infant preemie um, thumby, right? Yeah, the thumby, wee thumby. So, and then of course you want different brands if you want to get the ones, you know, from Europe that you can't get around here. So, yeah, there's a lot of them. I was trying to find some cut ones. Oh, here's a cut one, you say? I have a couple in the bathroom that I just rinsed off that were leaking. Some, the bottle was leaking on them. Look, there's two stuck together because of the magnet. Pull that apart. That's a cute binky clip. And then I had some in this box. Again, some that weren't opened, but had to have the Chico. Had to have it. And... These Nook style. So it's crazy when you get started and what you'll see. This one, Suavinex. Had to get that, you know, when you see those in the videos. More Nook ones, see, more. But these ones are clear silicone and these ones are latex. But it was just fun having them. Here's the Juvie silicone. Oh, those are cute. Oh, those are cute. You know, it's just because I've let up a little. I'm getting creative and doing photos. I always like the ma'am. Here's some ma'am. Those are good because they, when you cut those, they fit a lot of the smaller baby mouths good. And then when you find what works in your baby, or, you know, what doll, which one works best, you got to stick with that brand. This was a different one. This was cool. That has the, you know, the ring on it. Here's another one. I guess these two colors came together. See, these will fit great in the twin mouths and some of the silicones. Here's a hedgehog. And the thing is, I got away from using the binkies. Oh, actually a magnetic hairball got in here. I got away from using them because I always enjoy seeing the mouths. So I don't really put them in the babies anymore. Always got to have a ladybug to match those ladybug outfits. This one was came with a doll. That looks kind of vintage, doesn't it? Oh, there's a rattle in it. So yeah, you get the picture. Here's some cut ones. Get the idea of how your collecting can go crazy. But that's part of it. The accessories are part of it for most people. That's the fun part. And that's why we love the dolls. Because we can keep buying this stuff. Like, you know, when you're done having kids. And it's fun that you can still go out and still kind of have a reason to you know, explore these things and still have them around. The funness of having them, looking at them, using them. 
we're not going to go under the beds because we've already showed a lot of the clothes in another video i think when we did a nursery type tour video so quickly over here we have the collection of hats when i was into making sure i had every kind of hat there was knitted crocheted caps regular little hoss you know the little tiny bonnets hats for when they're newborn those kind wanted to always have a lot of the different crocheted ones um yeah we got a ton of these kind as you can see all different sizes really tiny ones and you know once we find out the oh look at that say socks socks in the hat bin and a bow should be over in the, the bow bin uh, yeah once i find out what my daughter's having i'll probably give her and you know some of the hats whatever she thinks she needs here's a little crochet booties which i probably was doing a chain outfit change and put it back in there so we have a lot of hats um sorry if i'm not pointing the camera i'm looking at the stuff and then i'm not pointing the camera i would empty this whole thing right out but there's really no sense as you can see here we have a toddler summer bonnet so we have some summer ones i know there's a cute oh this is a cute cap for a boy i wanted to find one of the winter ones here's a brush oh, i forgot to show you we had some combs and brushes too so i'm just making a mess over here but you guys get the idea of how many hats are in this bin it's a good size bin and then we have our headband when we went through the headband stage and we had to have every type of headband and every type of barrette A lot of these things I have not collected in a while. Which is good. It's good. At least I kind of, I have enough, you know. Even though sometimes you get stuck on something and you might see one and be like, oh, I need that. And then sometimes I try to think back to, wait a minute, do you need it? Do you? Are you even using half of what you have anyways? So, yeah all of those so that's part of the accessories i'll show this quick also because i feel like this is part of accessories the shoes shouldn't be in here those are in another area but tons of socks these shoes shouldn't be in here i keep them somewhere else so yeah uh tons you know gotta have your tons of socks and different kinds and to go with different these are oh wow See, sometimes you forget what you have. Look at that. I didn't even realize I had all these. There's mittens in there, too. That had to be from an Instagram sale. I'm going to put these back in for now till I go get the uh, shoe bin. And also, I would say um, mittens. And, and look at my hand. My hands are so dry. Ugh. I should have put lotion on before this. The um, mittens, mittens and bibs. That's to me part of the accessories. And I don't collect those anymore either because I don't need to have plenty. And here's the loveys. We had to get all our loveys that we could get. So those are stocked up for photos and what have you. That's mainly photos, I would say. So tons of those and these um jen's daughter from creative newborn crocheted these and i purchased those when she was selling them how cute are those i know she did it for the doll show too for her mom but yeah they're stuffed then we mentioned diapers collection of diapers regular diapers and i had to get into the cloth ones what's that down there oh there's some honest ones at the bottom there 
And there's some of the inserts for the cloth. So, you know, you gotta try the cloth, because, and there's some other honest, which, um, I don't know what print that is, watermelon? Yeah, that's the watermelon summer ones. I got a couple of those. Uh, but yeah, I haven't bought any of the stuff that I'm showing you in a long time. I like this. How cute is that? The monkeys. If you look here quick, um, I had to move these. These used to hang on the closet door in the bedroom. But then when we made the bedroom more of my son's bedroom, we had to take these out and put them up in the loft. So these also have... A collection of diapers see the bottom pocket down there lift it up a little bit I don't want it to fall off the ledge I just have them hanging on the ledge up here they used to be hanging on the closet door so to end this video um, this is the last accessory for the babies baby dolls silicones Tons and tons of shoes. I had to get over that. Some are still in their bags. I thought these were really cute. Look at how tiny these boots are. I mean, look at it in the measure of my hand. That is very tiny. See, these are a little bigger. Well, there's a lot of boots, you see? How cute. And um, here's another pair. And then this whole bin is filled with shoes and winter boots. And I guess I've laid off a lot of this, all the accessory stuff. And, I'm, you know, I still love having it. And I'm sure one day I'll start using it again. Even though it's winter, I should be putting some of the boots on. Here's a tiny sandal. There's a ton in here. Here's a vintage shoe. As you can tell, it's a little warm because it is vintage. I love these ones. These are cute. So lots of shoes, and I wanted to show you this one I love. I have not, but I think it'll go cute on um, uh, some babies that I have with that bigger foot. Look at it. It's like a walking shoe, but... It's like suede feeling, and it has the fur lined. So yeah, and I had all summer, and I had bought them in the summer. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till winter to use them. And again, I haven't used them yet, and it's towards the end of January. Sometimes you just enjoy watching the Reborn channels, but you don't really enjoy getting into the hobby yourself like you need a break but I think it's because sometimes we feel if we have a channel and we're going to change a baby we have this thought in our head that maybe we should just be videoing it so we can post a video but I think sometimes you just need to change the baby alone and just enjoy that part of it and not always have to film it or and that's maybe what I'm missing or not enjoying because every time I think of doing it, it seems like I should be filming it. So then I don't do it. So yeah, there's a lot in here. A little Converse. These are tiny. I've seen some people in the community with these little ones. They're like per for a preemie. So yeah, and some moccasins. We got a pink one, silver, this color. This is another little tiny moccasin. More of like an Indian look to it. What else was in? Oh, these were cute. Oh, these are cute, not were. Oh, here's the gold ones. Tons of tiny little sneakers. So we have a pair. I put it away for now. Oh, here's a cute little white shoe. Um, yeah, I have a little... Um, oh, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, sneaker. But I put it away because I told my daughter 
she has a boy, I'm going to give her those Ralph Lauren little sneakers. This is cute, like a basket weave. That's a size two. So that's, of course, for a bigger baby. I like these, too. These are like a khaki collar canvas sandal. Zero to three. And these, I love these. I love these ones for the toddlers. So, yeah, I wanted to just show you the, the, the shoe collection. Obviously, there's a bunch down there buried. What's this one? A sneaker? Um, Ooh, here's the other one. So, yeah, the accessory end of it, you know. You know, during the collecting process, that's the funnest because it's fun to be buying and to be waiting to get your package and see it. But it's also nice when you feel content with it and, and you don't need it. I think all the accessories that I just showed you, um, I have not collected any of the accessories I showed you in at least a year. So shoes, bottles, binkies, diapers, blankets, ex blankets is exception. Cause I did just purchase another one and um yeah clothes I don't consider the clothes as an accessory but yeah because I'm still buying those so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I will put the links for baby love heart Smith Ashley's channel and love of reborns 13 Christine's channel so you could check out theirs with how they feel about the accessories okay guys bye